Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the God. Praise God. Praise God. Blessed be to all those who find this message. I thank you. I, I thank you for all the comments and all the input, the feedback, the insights that you guys were able to provide on my, my video last night. We have a huge list of things that we're going to be doing. I'm new to the prepping world, but uh, we want to stay on top of it. We want to most of all stay prepared. So we pray for, for preparation. But tonight we're reading in Romans 6. I know we're going backwards. A couple nights ago we were in Romans 10. Last night we were in Romans 8, and now we're in Romans 6, because we want to learn from about freedoms from sin's grasp. Now listen to this. Dead to sin, alive in Christ. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We died to sin so that we can live it. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized in his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that... Just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. If we may have been united with him like this in his death, we will certainly also be united with him in his resurrection. Amen. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. Hallelujah. Amen. Because anyone who has died has been freed from sin. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that the, since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. No, death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body so that you may obey, obey its evil desires. Do not offer the parts of your body to sin as instruments of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from the death to life, and offer the parts of your body to him as instruments of righteousness. For sin shall not be your master, because you are not under law, but under grace. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we say, Amen. Amen. Wow. Sure do like that, Romans 6. That's some good stuff, you guys. So, we flip to our recovery book. Okay? We got what? October 21st. God's will today. The decision demands continued acceptance, ever increasing faith, and a daily commitment to recovery. Sometimes we really live the third step, and it's great. We don't regret the past. We weren't afraid of the future, and we're generally pleased with the present. Sometimes, though, we lose our vision of God's will in our life. Amen, we do. Many of us dream of erasing the mistakes of our past, but the past cannot be erased. Many of us are grateful this is so for our past experiences that brought us to the recovery we enjoy today. By working the program, we can learn to accept the past and reconcile ourselves with it by amending our wrongs. Those same 12 steps can help eliminate our worries over the future. When we practice NA principles on a daily basis in all our affairs, we can leave the results up to our higher power, God, Lord, Jesus Christ, right? It seems, though, as our members with the strongest faith are the ones who are the best able to live the present in the present moment. Enjoyment, appreciation, and gratitude for the quality of our lives, these are the results of faith in life itself. When we practice the principles of our program, today is the only day we need. Amen. Just for today. I will make the most of today and trust that yesterday and tomorrow are in God's care. Absolutely. Moving along. All right, check this guy's out. You know, like this one. Now that we have considered the obligations of real working members of, the, of AA, the body of Christ, let us examine what the rewards are that have come to us as a result of the new way of living. First, I understand myself more than I ever did before. I have learned that what was the matter with me, and I know now a lot of what makes me tick. I will never be alone again. I am just one of the many who have the illness of alcoholism, and one of many who have learned what to do about it. I am not an odd fish or a square peg in a round hole. I seem to have found my right place in the world. Amen. Through the Lord Jesus Christ. Am I beginning to understand myself? Amen. Good question. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man may hear my voice and open the door, I will come to in him into him and will remain with him and him with me the knocking of god's spirit asking him to come into your life is due to no merit of yours though it is the response to the longing of your heart keep a listening ear and ear bent to catch the sound of the gentle knocking at the door of your heart by the spirit of god the holy spirit the holy ghost then open the door of your heart and let god's spirit come in amen the prayer for today listen to this guys 
I pray that I may let God's Spirit come into my heart. I pray that it may fill me with an abiding peace. Oh, amen. Let's, let's read that again. I pray that I may let God's Spirit come into my heart. And I pray that it may fill me with an abiding peace. In Jesus' name, amen. I love each and every one of you. I'm so proud of you. And I am thankful that you guys have found the channel. If you haven't yet so, subscribe, like, comment, tell me what's on your mind. Anything. Anything. And if you know of anybody that's looking for a Bible, including yourself, please reach out. I will get a Bible sent to you within a week. No shipping, no cost to yourself. It's a Christian study Bible. I will personally send another uh, a personal gift with that Bible. So you're not only getting a Bible, you're getting something uh, to, to remind yourself of Christ's love for you. And I guarantee you're going to love it. Amen and God bless.